Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting video. If you recall, in my first episode of AgriWords and Phrases, we spoke about NPK and we also said that the percentage value of P and K is not reflecting the true percentage of phosphorus and potassium within a fertilizer bag. So today we are here to clear that and you are going to be finding out the exact percentage of phosphorus and potassium that is in your fertilizer bag. The second and the third number does not represent the true percentage of those two nutrients within the fertilizer bag which is phosphorus and potassium respectively. So of course we are going to be talking about NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. When you buy your fertilizer, specifically first and fertilizers, you will see something called guaranteed analysis on the bag. What this is saying is 14% nitrogen, 28% P2O5, 14% K2O. Normally, the percentage of nitrogen that you see represents the true amount of nitrogen that is in the bag. However, what it is essentially saying is 28% P2O5 and not 28% phosphorus only. This is saying 14% K2O and not 14% potassium only. So what we are here to do today is find out the exact percentage of phosphorus only and the exact percentage of potassium only. Please remember that we are not going to be using nitrogen because nitrogen represents the true percentage value within the bag. So what we are interested in, as I said before, is phosphorus and potassium and the chemical formula for phosphorus is P2O5. Chemical formula for potassium is K2O. In order to find the amount of phosphorus that is in the fertilizer bag, we first need to know the combined molecular mass of P. 205 and the combined molecular mass of P205 is 141.943. However, I know you must be wondering how I derive at this figure. Let me show you. In order to, to get that figure, we need to know the atomic mass number of the different elements. Because phosphorus is represented as P205 within the fertilizer bag, we need to know the atomic mass of phosphorus and oxygen. Right here, the atomic mass number for phosphorus is 30.974 and that of oxygen is 15.999. Let's move on to the calculations. And remember, I'm showing you how we derive at the 141.943 for the combined molecular mass of P205. Now, remember the atomic mass number for phosphorus is 30.974 and there are two atoms of phosphorus. So we multiply two times 30.74 and we get 61.948 and we do the same with oxygen. There are five atoms of oxygen and oxygen mass, atomic mass number is 15.999. So we multiply five times 15.999. We had both and we derive at this number. However, please bear in mind that we are trying to figure out the amount of phosphorus that is in the fertilizer bag. So what we are going to be doing, we are only going to be using this number that represents phosphorus and not this number. This number represents oxygen, but we are trying to find the amount of phosphorus. Therefore, in order to find out the percentage value of phosphorus within P2O5, what we do is we take the 61.948 divided by 141.943 which is the combined molecular mass of P205 and then we multiply it by 100 to get a percentage value and that is how we derive at 43.643% and what we are doing here now is rounding off 43 to 0.643 to 44%. So what this is essentially saying is within P205 44% is phosphorus. Please bear that in mind. Because 44% represents phosphorus within P205, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be converting 44% to decimal. And to convert 44% to decimal, we just divide 44 
by 100 and we arrive at 0 0.44 0 0.44 is the decimal equivalent of 44 percent which represents the amount of phosphorus in p2o5 now we also know that 28 percent which is this here represents the amount of p2o5 that is within the fertilizer bag so what we are going to be doing since as we know the amount of phosphorus that is in p2o5 is we are going to multiply 28 percent times 0 0.44 which is which would give us 12.32 percent 12.32 percent is essentially saying that within the fertilizer bag phosphorus represents 12.32 percent and not 28 percent let us move on to potassium K2O, which is the guaranteed analysis of potassium on the fertilizer bag. Now, the combined molecular weight of K2O is 94.195. And the calculation is basically the same as phosphorus. Only the atoms represent different value. So, as you can see, K2O, there are two atoms of potassium and one atom of oxygen. Remember that potassium atomic mass is 39.098 and oxygen is 15.999. Therefore, because there are two atoms of potassium, we are going to be multiplying 2 times 39.098 plus 15.99 because there is only one atom of oxygen. We add them together, we get 94.195. But we are not so much interested in this combined molecular mass this is the combined molecular mass of k2o we are interested in the k only the potassium only therefore the value for potassium if you recall on this calculation is 78.176 so we are going to be dividing that by the total molecular mass which is 94.195 and multiplying that by 100 and that is how we arrive at 82.993 which we round off to 83%. So what we are going to be doing now is converting 83% to decimal. So we are going to say 83 divided by 100 and that is going to give us 0.83. Based on the fertilizer grade, we know that 14% represents the amount of K2O within the fertilizer bag. We also know that 0.83, which is the decimal equivalent of 83%, represents the amount of potassium that is within K2O. So because we know that 14% represents K2O on the fertilizer grade, we are going to be multiplying that by 0.83 and we arrive at 11.62%. So what this is essentially saying is potassium within the fertilizer bag is not 14%, it is 11.62%. So it is a big difference. And remember these values that I've worked out for phosphorus and potassium is basically for a fertilizer bag with a grade of 14.28%. 14. So as you can see, the grade of 14, 28, 14, 12.32% represents the actual amount of phosphorus that is within the bag. And 11.62% represents the amount of potassium that is within the bag. Again, I hope this video was beneficial. Don't be engulfed by the calculation. Just understand the percentages that we arrived at and you now know that the 28 and the 14 does not represent the true value of both phosphorus and potassium within the bag. So as I said, thank you for joining me in this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in another video. Hello, now that you're at the end, if this video was beneficial to you, please consider subscribing. To subscribe to my channel, please click the red subscribe button and then click the bell icon beside it so that you will be notified whenever I publish a new video. Thank you.